Hi Aries, welcome to your November bonus love tarot reading. So Aries, we're looking at whatever you need to know, whatever needs to come out at this time regarding either your love life or love situation and see what you need to know. Just kind of take it as it comes, so please do keep that in mind. All right, Aries, we have the Archangel Power Tarot Oracle slash Oracle here. So let me get you some opening messages with this deck and then we'll jump into your reading. But welcome in, Aries. I hope you're all doing well staying safe and healthy at this time if you are new or returning welcome in welcome in and thank you my name is mary and this is sunlight inside tower all right aries let's see what we have for you for this bonus november bonus love tower reading for aries all right let's get your messages all right let's see okay we have oh, decks upside down we have four of pentacles energy here when you give, you also receive. Being resistant to change. Okay. <laughs> when you give, you receive. Being resistant to change. Extremes in how you save or spend money. All right. Let's just lay these out and see what's going on. Three of Pentacles. Do what you love. A time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors. Working with others in a cooperative manner. Five of Cups. Everything happens for a reason. Release regret and embrace the opportunities for happiness. Search for the silver lining. You have three, four, five here. That is progression. And another four. Four of Cups. Seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions. Now, fours are about stability foundation. Fives are definitely about change and conflict. And threes are about growth and expansion. So I feel like here, Aries... Uh, this could be you, this could be someone you're dealing with, but somebody here probably went through a period of sadness, loss, and grief, discontentment, a melancholy kind of energy, possibly in a relationship, probably has been holding back from dating or getting back out there or looking for love again. But we do have this energy of the Three of Pentacles, which is a time of growth and expansion. So it looks like, you know, there could be some energy here of love, to build upon but it's also about somebody getting over their past situation which is, is keeping them held back to expand out to new love that's kind of what i feel here so let's see let's get into the tarot here and see what's going on all right aries so this is the oceanic tarot do your reading with this deck and at the end we have the gateway oracle and we'll pull some of those for you as well all right, Aries, so let's see what's going on for you. This November bonus love tower reading. All right, let's see. What do we need to know for Aries? Page of Pentacles reversed. The King of Swords reversed. The Hierophant. The Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Cups. Let's take one from the bottom. The Six of Swords. So we do have right here two energies of walking away from it's no longer serving us to something better. And as we're doing that, we're moving into peace, love, joy, light, and happiness as we leave the past behind us. Definitely there could have been a situation. Um, I mean, the High Priest here, the Hierophant, can talk about marriage commitments, that sort of thing, doing them all just right. Things, standards, values, traditions... Growth, expansion, leveling up, leadership, faith, spirituality, religion. I mean, it has many, 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 many re uh, meanings. But I feel like here, if you, if there was a, a situation in the past, um, I think there was a lot of effort here to try to save it. You know, putting in a lot of hard work into a commitment. But then I feel like with this King of Swords reversed and the Page of Pentacles reversed, there may have been the last straw where... You know, someone may have approached to say, okay, let's try to fix this again. It's like, no, I'm kind of done with this and moving on. So this could be your energy in the recent past, the distant past. This also could be someone you're connected to who's finally leaving a situation after they tried hard many, many times to fix it and just no fixing it. And it could have been some, could be somebody you have a mutual interest in um, as well. Or somebody maybe you're disconnected from because... They were staying stuck in their situation. 
Now, we don't have your energy here yet, Aries, so I mean, it could be the other person, but we do have Capricorn, Gemini, Taurus. So let's find out. Let's find out for you, uh, Aries. So let's see. Who are we talking about? Are we talking about you or someone you're dealing with? All right, Aries, please. Who are we talking about? All right, Aries, please. What do we need to know? Who are we talking about? Are we talking about Aries? For those who are watching, is this Aries energy? Well, the Knight of Wands would be a yes, but let's see. The Wheel of Fortune reverse, and actually the Knight of Wands is fire. You're a fire sign. For me, it's Sag, but definitely could be you as well. Judgment reversed. Seven of Pentacles. Ace of Swords reversed. Wow. And death. Yeah, so someone here has gone through an ending. Like, there's no fixing this. Um, no fixing this. Seven of Pentacles, just a lot of stalemate. And judgment, when I get judgment in reverse, that is like a final decision. Like, I've done all the healing. Uh, life review, relationship review of what needs to be done. Stuck again with the um, wheel reversed don't see how this can move forward so there's an ending here there's no clarity there's no maybe even cutting out communication cutting off this person it's like there's no clarity there's nothing and the knight of wands is about you know taking action doing what we have to do being strong courageous and brave i feel like for a lot of you watching it's your energy where okay i stayed stuck in this for far too long and now i'm standing up to end it it's done it's over it's just not going to work. Um, you know, there's some sadness loss over that. A lot of holding back. But there's also growth and expansion on the horizon as well. So we have Sag, Sag, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. A lot of Scorpio energy here. And we still are in Scorpio season, which ends in like, I think, five days or so. All right, so let's see, for those of you where you're like, yeah, that's my energy. Let's see what's coming in for you. If it's the other person uh, you're interested in, you know, we're going to see whatever this connection is moving forward, whether it's new or um, someone you're interested in. Like I said, for some, this is your energy. Some, it's someone you're connected to. Let's just see what's going to happen in the future here. Oh, the Ace of Wands, exciting new beginning. Five of Cups. So you got the Five of Cups twice. What else for Aries? The Eight of Swords Reverse, which is good. The Seven of Wands. The Hangman Reversed, which is good. If you want a card to be reversed, it is the Hangman. But we have the Two of Pentacles here as well. So what I feel like here, Aries, there's been a lot on the fence, um, either about you moving forward, looking for new love, or this love interest coming in towards you. Um, but there's an exciting new, be either way, there's an exciting new beginning on the horizon. Yeah, there's been sadness, loss, grief, sorrow, but fives are about change as well. Eight of Swords Reverse, getting ourselves unstuck out of a situation that kept us tied, bound. Um, it's just not going to work. Seven of Wands, putting up the he healthy boundaries, standing up, telling it like it is. And the hangman is not just hanging around, you know, it's getting up and taking action here. No more being in limbo. And it's been on the fence for far too long here with the two of pentacles, you know, back and forth, up and down, what do I do? It's, that's kind of the end of it right there. No more just sitting on the fence. We do have growth right here. I'm just looking at this Ace of Wands, exciting new beginning. Like I said, you are a fire sign. So either way, however the, uh, this works out for you, there is an exciting new beginning on the horizon. So we're going to find out like what it is. What is it? we got Pisces showing up here. So what is the exciting new energy on the horizon for Aries? I always say in readings... You know, I may read it as your energy, and you're like, well, that's not me. It's someone else. You can always switch energies around. All right, so let's see here, Aries. What is coming in with the Ace of Wands? 
The Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, Happiness, and Joy. Queen of Wands. There you are, Aries. There you are. So your wish is about to be fulfilled, Aries, and you're about to be very happy. So what, what is that about? The Five of Wands, Reverse, No Conflict. Oh, Dedication, Harmony, Balance, Stability, Foundation. This could be Commitment. Well, if it's somebody new, it's not going to be a commitment. But if it's a connection already, this person had to get out of this energy. We do have being uh, committed here. The Four of Wands. Four of Cups. Yeah, there's been a lot of melancholy energy here. Seven of Swords. A lot of avoiding. So whether you are avoiding getting out there to find new love or someone had to avoid the connection with you because of their own situation... So there's been a lot of discontentment here uh, kind of energy. But I do see the Five of Wands reverse, like conflicts over. So whether it's yours or theirs, conflict over. Nine of Cups. So, I mean, you're right here, Aries. So either way, you're about to be very happy. Your wish dream come true. So we're going to look more into that. Somebody, I mean, the Seven of Swords does say loss. Um... Usually in this deck it says loss. I don't usually take it as a loss. I take it as, you know, avoidance of running out of fear, strategy. Sometimes it can be lying, cheating, stealing, uh, that kind of energy. But I do believe your conflict's over. A wish, passion, a wish of passion coming true. All right. So let's see, uh, here is going to do one more line with clarifiers to see what else you need to know. So what is this passionate wish come true for Aries? If it does resonate so far, please do like, comment, all the good things. We greatly, greatly appreciate it. Also with that um, King of Swords in reverse, that's Gemini. I don't know if I mentioned that. You got, uh, let's see, you have, what was this, the page? Capricorn, Gemini, Taurus. I don't know if I said that, but Air Signs. Usually it could be somebody in military, law enforcement, medical, um, education, communications, if that resonates for anyone at all. Someone also could work for a huge corporation or business with the Hierophant there. All right, so let's see, Aries. Um, like I said, please do like, comment, all the good things. If it resonates or you're just enjoying it, it'd be greatly, greatly appreciated. Oh my God, a solid new beginning. Ace of Pentacles, that just kind of flew out. Six of Cups, reverse, yeah. Not a past person, this is a new person. So this is either you finding a new person or the person you're connected to that you're hoping to have some sort of connection with. They're leaving a pa the past behind and embracing this new um, opportunity. Queen of Swords, we do have a match. King, Queen of Swords. One's upright, one's reverse, meaning there's a lot that has to be discussed, getting on the same page. And the lovers, there's the soulmate connection. Knight of Pentacles reverse, so things are about to pick up here, things about to move forward. Very fast, quick energy may seem a little out of the blue, out of nowhere. Surprising. King, uh, this Knight of Pentacles in reverse turns for me from the slowest night to the fastest night. So a little out of the blue, out of nowhere, uh, maybe a little surprising, shocking. But then things moving uh, very quickly into this connection. Truth, clarity, there's the communications. Like I said, the match, but needing to get on the same page. Five of Pentacles to reverse. Yeah, no more s loneliness, no more feeling um, unnoticed. or I don't think it's abandonment because I don't think this... Could ever get off the ground if it's with someone you already have a connection with. But if you're, you know, if you're alone, you may be feeling like not noticed and abandoned and lonely. Five of Pentacles reverse is that is all changing. Like how you may meet this person. I mean, it could be different if it's somebody new. Um, could be different for everybody. Could be something around the home. So whether you're going to a home party or something like that. Uh, it could be something surrounding something to do with a home because the four of wands can be about the home as well but let's see we do have gemini took our uh, no libra gemini taurus all right let's get more here oh so there's the soulmate alignment here with the uh, temperance 
patience, healing, balance, love, light, joy, happiness, divine alchemy, bring soulmates together just the right time. Page of Wands, exciting energies coming in, invitations, communication, hermit. Definitely a lot of single energy here. You're single, they're single. There's been some holding back, that is for sure. Introspection. Two of Swords reverse, decision has been made. Five of Swords reverse, there's no, no more conflict surrounding this. Whether this is you getting your own, getting over your own inner conflict about maybe accepting a date or going on a date or getting back out there, or this person, there's no more conflict around them or their past or their situations done and over. Six of Wands, we do have success, victory. So either way here, Aries, you do have success and victory. And we have the Page of Cups reversed. Hmm. So if this is an existing connection, there may not have been any like uh, expressions of love. Also, I feel like this could be somebody new where you haven't possibly dated yet, but I do feel like there's something coming in. Yeah, things are going to stop moving forward. If it's somebody new that you're going to meet, could be in travels too. Uh, so pay attention to that. Even commuting, day-to-day -day activities, um, errands, that kind of thing. So pay attention to that as well. But this is positive movement forward. Positive movement forward. Ten of Wands. Somebody definitely has gone through an ending. Knight of Swords reverse. That's weird because we have the Knight of Pentacles reverse, which turns to the Knight of Swords. Upright. Now we have the Knight of Swords, but it's in reverse, which would be the Knight of Pentacles. That is just funny. So, hmm. It says drama on this card. It's in reverse. So, yeah, someone's drama is done. So, you're done with the drama of the past, or this person is. Here's the King. I was thinking the King of Wands earlier, and I didn't say it because we had the queen right here pop up and then when we got the queen and the king of swords like oh it'd be funny if we got the king of wands it's the only other queen here and look there's the king so there is a match if it's not now it's a very near future three of wands and we'll be falling in love here with the queen of cups okay either way Aries whether it's new or some other sort of existing connection it looks like it's going to be coming together Falling in love. Two people highly attracted to each other. King, Queen of Wands. All right, did I say the signs here? Libra, Gemini, yeah. And that's Pisces up there again. All right, so we're going to pull you some gateway uh, messages. See what else we need to know. Also, everything you need to know, Aries, is down below in the description box. So you can check that out if you would like to. Lots down there. Everything you need to know. All right. November bonus love reading. The months are longer. November, December, so I decided to throw in. Otherwise, I would have been starting the December readings. It's a little early for that, so let's see. Extra messages for Aries. What do we need to know? Taking action. I enthusiastically embrace life's boundless possibilities. Yeah, so you're taking action or someone's taking action towards you. However it resonates. Hearing messages from spirit. I may clear channel for messages from spirit. And we do have like a letter there with a heart. So if you do have an invitation out there that maybe someone's waiting for your reply, I feel like, you know, spirit's kind of um, encouraging you. Giving birth. I am bringing forth new and dynamic energy into the world. So something's incubating here. Something new is about to start. In dwelling in truth, I stand in the light of truth. So, like I said, a lot of you, um, you know, you're ready to get back out there and you're going to find that person. Or this person is finally coming in towards you that you've been kind of connected to. And, you know, something is getting ready to happen here for you, uh, Aries. All right, Aries, that's what I have for you. So I do hope that helped that resonated. Again, everything you need to know is down below. I am wishing you the best and I shall see you next time.